Hey there, and welcome to Y Stamp. In this video, we're going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started with the Y Stamp Email Signature Manager. First things first, to log into your Y Stamp for Teams account, go to gapp.ystamp.com. If you have a G Suite domain, use the option on the left to log in with your regular Gmail username and password. The first thing you see after logging into the account will be the Company Details tab. But first, I want to draw your attention to the signature drop-down list. Ystamp allows you to create multiple signatures per department. From this list, you can add a new signature by clicking Add Signature and click to view any signature from the list. Whichever signature name you see at the top is the signature you will be editing. Now, let's talk about the two signature components. The first is the company details, information which you will want to be the same for everyone, company name, website, etc. The second is the personal details, things like the username, title, and mobile, which are unique for each individual employee. For now, we're going to focus on the company details. This page shows the details for the current signature department you are viewing. A second signature in your account can have an entirely different company name listed. The Company Details tab is signature specific rather than Y Stamp account specific. On this tab, you can add things like your company name, website, tweak your signature design, and add your company social icons. We have a few different templates to choose from, and if you'd like to have something custom made, feel free to contact us. Next, we have the email apps. Add different apps to draw attention to your signature, special promotions or events, and drive traffic to your pages and social media. You can edit font colors and size, as well as alignment. When you're done, just click Add. You can also choose where to place each add-on within the signature itself. To edit, click the pencil icon, and to remove, just click the trash can. Don't forget, after any changes are made to the signature, make sure to click Save Draft and Publish Changes if applicable. Now, we'll move over to the Manage Users tab. This is where you'll manage the signature insertion settings for your team members. Google Domains will have their users synced automatically, but to add new users in the future, click the Sync Users button. Other domains use the Upload or Export CSV option to add a list of your new users. As I hover my mouse over the user list, you'll see the line becomes gray and a few action items become visible. These are individual actions, such as edit. This will open an edit panel to update information for that specific user, change their signature assignment, or promote to an admin status. You can also take bulk user actions by selecting a few users, or selecting all of your users you'll see new action buttons pop up on the top where you can apply bulk actions, such as invite all users at once or change the signature assignment to everyone at once. Now you're ready to get started and send your new company signature to your team. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to email help at ystamp.com. Happy stamping!